Hello guys, in today's video I will be repairing the 30 kW Hydronic L2 heater. You will find these heaters installed on buses, trains and special applications or wherever there is a larger heating capacity needed. The main components of the heater are the burner head, flame tube, heat exchanger with temperature sensors and the front cover. The burner head is located at the front of the heater and contains the following the fuel pump, the ECU or electronic control unit, the fan with electric motor and impeller, ignition spark generator with electrodes, a solenoid valve, a fuel preheater and a fuel nozzle. Today we have a burner sent by a customer complaining that the unit is not working as it should, there are fuel leaks and the heater emits white smoke. He already changed the fuel solenoid as this was leaking fuel to the, through the nozzle but he suspects more leaks. The customer does not have a test bench and testing on the bus is very difficult because of the mounting position of the heater. As you can see, the burner is quite full of fuel and in this condition it is difficult to see the leaks so we will be mounting the burner on the bench to start the fuel pump and look for leaks. Here you can see two different flame tubes, the one at the bottom of the screen is for a 35 kW heater and the other one for the 30 kW and this is what we will be using for today's tests. I will be connecting the fuel lines, the wire harness and the temperature sensors so we can start the unit. As you can see I removed the baffle plate and the electrodes just to have a better view inside the unit. Before starting I will clean the head so new leaks can be seen easily. It is not perfect, but searching for leaks should be easier now. Maybe you noticed that I moved the coil from the solenoid valve to prevent it from opening, so fuel only comes through the nozzle if this is not closing as it should. Starting the unit does not reveal anything suspicious. I cannot find any leaks in the burner head, the fuel solenoid is closing correctly and there is absolutely no fuel coming through the nozzle. The fuel pump is connected to the fan motor with a plastic clutch, as we will see later on, and this means that when the motor is rotating, also turns the fuel pump, so if there are any leaks, we should see them at this point. I also removed the fuel nozzle to check if any dirt is collected by the strainer behind it. The nozzle was clean, but there were some debris in the nozzle holder. At this point I didn't think much about this, I just cleaned them and went on with mounting the burner completely in order to do a full test of the heater. Customer didn't send the front cover, so I will just use a new one. It is important to keep in mind that a cover and the burner must be considered a pair and should not be mixed between heaters because of the CO2 settings that are individual for each heater. For now, we will just put this setting in the middle.
With everything mounted, the heater was not starting. I could heal the spark generator working, also the valve opening, but there was no flame in the heater. Taking a look at the return line, I noticed there is no fuel coming back to the tank. I decided to take another look at the unit to see if anything suspicious pops up. There is a fuel filter in the intake port of the pump, but I found that this is clean, so I took down the preheater nozzle and the solenoid valve to see if I can find anything in there. I did not find anything so I decided to test the unit again. This time I routed the return line into a canister near the heater and also topped up the fuel tank even though it had enough fuel for the unit to start. I have tried everything at this point, even pulling fuel with my mouth through the heater but nothing happened and I guess you know what happens next. I opened up the heater one more time. This time I decided to take the pump apart even though it is not recommended by the manufacturer, but it was nothing I could lose since it was not working. Inside the pump I did not find anything except these little friction marks on the top plate. Could this be the reason why the pump is not pumping fuel? I don't know, at first I didn't think so and cleaned everything really good and put everything back together for another test. Of course, I had no success and decided to open up the pump even further, but after taking another look I realized that that was the most I could open up the pump. I had the idea that the pump somehow has absolutely no fuel in it and this is why it is not working. Maybe all the fuel came out during the transport and now the pump is running dry and cannot prime itself. Yes, you guessed, it is time to put everything back together. I've used the syringe to push fuel into the pump while rotating it. At first this seems to, seemed to be working and the pump was kind of working. I wasn't pulling or pushing the fuel as I imagined, but 
I've put this on the low RPM that I was achieving by hand. Now that I was sure that the pump is prime, primed, I've mounted it to the burner, back to the test bench and it worked for a few seconds, but then went back to the same problem. No matter what I tried, it was just not pulling the fuel. At this time I had no more ideas and I was pretty sure that the pump is faulty, so I decided to try a new one. Starting the heater, first time almost gave me a heart attack. Nothing was working besides the water pump, so I decided to see if I have any errors in the control unit. It was just a coincidence that the last start before changing the pump was the limit of the failed starts and the control unit has locked, so I delighted the errors and tried again. Finally the heater started and was working fine. I left it working for a while in order to get the normal operating temperature in order to set the CO2 level. The manual states a level between 9 and 11%, so I will be setting a value around 10%. We can do this by rotating the cap in the plus or in the minus direction printed on the cap. After we are satisfied with the result, we can lock the setting screws with some uh, paint. I will not do this since the front cover was not sent by the customer and this will be sold as a spare part and mounted on another heater. If you enjoyed watching me struggle with this heater, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more heater repairs. See you next time, bye bye!